are just people and they're shooting bombs at us, guns at us. I've already seen five people get an ambulances shot with ammunition. Seriously fucking world, where the fuck are you? When I heard techno and I went to my first rave, that was the first time I didn't think of anything serious. My brain just went off. That's why I got so attached to it, because that is the only time life is just like life. I'm a person and I'm not thinking about Palestine or war or dead people or who's alive or who's in jail, etc. I'm just in this third dimension, and I'm just letting everything out. For me, for my sanity, for my health, for my heart, every gig I play is, is a therapy session for me. I need it, and I know that people need it, and that's why I play in this way. I play it in that kind of hardcore, the way that I'm really trying to get what the people want to give them what they need because I've been in that crowd and I know when I really need it, that I'm always trying to deliver for them and for me because it is freedom. That is the literal meaning of freedom. Yeah, I'm, I'm the DJ, I'm the one standing on the stage. But well, actually, for me, honestly, they are the DJs. They tell me what to do. I'm playing too much hardcore, too much dark. I know from their faces and the way, even if it's 100,000, the way they're moving, you know you're not playing the right thing. And you switch and you go something funky. And then you feel them, they're getting more hyped up, so you go back to hardcore and this, this dynamic is what makes a DJ a DJ. It is something for people to meditate because everybody has issues in their lives. The people that do it, the community that it creates, the way it affects people, the way it frees you from the world, which is the mess of the system. This is on its own a revolution. The fact that people start loving each other and being in peace because they're on a dance floor, that is a change, that is a message on its own. It was more of kind of running away from politics for me in the beginning. But then when I became a DJ international, and then when it started becoming this, I'm getting a lot of invites from Israel, that's when I went into political talks because that's when it started being like, I need to explain to them why music is not the solution for occupation. You're talking about me and you and DJs becoming cool with each other, but you have two million people in Gaza sieged since 2000. What are you gonna do about that? Are you gonna bring down the wall and let them come walk in, uh, walk in Tel Aviv? Um, are you gonna bring down this wall that you have separating us? Are you gonna let out all the political prisoners that, like I have friends that have never seen their parents since they were kids. Are we gonna become equal citizens? Are we going to be able to travel to Europe without a visa like you guys? Are, is, is, is us doing a gig together in Tel Aviv actually gonna solve all these issues? Are, are you gonna stop uh, stealing the water that we have in Palestine and giving us a quarter of it? Is, is it gonna change all of these things or are we just gonna help paint Tel Aviv to the world being like, yes, we are peace and love while it's not. Ich habe mich schon mit dem Erlebten gefunden. Ich habe mich schon mit dem Erlebten gefunden. Ich habe mich schon mit dem Erlebten gefunden.
خاصه انه بلا طحينه لا اجت ايام اجت ايام على ال... على ويمبي هذا بيروحوا ياكلوا بويمبي ياخذ معه الشرطه الشرطه يقعد جنبه وياكلوا آه. كان فاتح ويمبي اللي هو زي صح آه اللي بتاع المهندسين المهندسين صح المهندسين كان ويمبي آه. رزق هذا اخذنا رزق احنا مره على ويمبي بس سجن مش القلعه اظن اللي كان سو ماي مام از فروم جافا Her family was kicked out from their village that was next to Jaffa in 1948 in that war. And their whole village doesn't exist anymore. They moved maybe three, four different cities until they settled in Jericho. And my dad's family was from Nablus and they were kicked out from Nablus in 69 as a kind of more of a political thing because my grandma was a huge activist. My grandma was... Um, Uh, one of the people that were the founders of PLO, of the Palestinian Liberation Organization. She was the person that started the Women's Rights Association in Palestine. She was the vice president of the Women's Rights Association worldwide. And that made a whole kind of uh, switch in the family where feminism became a, a main thing. The ones that were mainly fighting in my family in the war were my grandmother and my aunt. They were the ones that were imprisoned by Israel and kicked out of Palestine. My dad has an idea of how we should be active for Palestine. is through education, is through building things, is through uh, connecting the people. It has a different, um, a different dimension in the way he thinks about it. And with my career, I started seeing what he was doing too, because the music that I'm doing is not talking about anything. You know, at the end of the day, there are no lyrics telling you to do anything. But the fact that I'm Palestinian and I'm Arab and I'm from that side of the world, people are talking about it more. People in the industry talk about it more. There are people that are carrying Palestinian flags in techno festivals, and you would never see that in your life. So that means the message is actually reaching more people. When I started working with children and started working with them on learning music and started seeing the effect of that on them, that's when I started seeing the effect of music on humans in general and on people. I'm privileged enough to be able to stand behind Richie and know what he's doing. So I get that and I go home and I'm like, you have this option and this option. And that's why I try to pass it on to my friends and my people and whoever I work with kids, grown-ups in Palestine. When I DJ in Palestine, it's different than when I DJ anyway, and that's why it is my favorite stage in life, although it's a crowd of 30, 40 people, maybe 100. But it is the place where I'm free when I'm DJing to experiment, to do. I'm not trying to do the most perfect thing. I'm enjoying it with my friends. There's this freedom between the people because of the occupation and because of the stress. You feel like you need to live exactly every second. 